Good Friday morning, Northern Michigan. It's 623, and this morning in Tech Matters, I'm joined once again by Tim Dillon from Terrapin Networks. We're talking about something that affects pretty much everyone who uses a computer for anything online banking, anything you can think of because you need a password. Those things are all vulnerable to hackers. Yes. So Tim, what can people do to create a safe password? Well, there's a lot of good things. Passwords are everywhere now. Our banking stuff, as simple as Facebook, maybe even a simple form to go to a newspaper to make a, a comment. Everything needs a password. So you want to you want to have something that's strong. Right. And, and the way to have it strong is the biggest thing is to have it long. And and what and you always want to have a mix of uppercase letters, lowercase letters, some numbers, and some special characters. What we call them, question mark and at sign, period dash that kind of. Uh, I have a favorite way of doing it that I like, I'd like to recommend to everybody. And it's a formula that you can use when you're doing certain passwords, and that's uh, a person, place, and a number. It's okay. a great way of doing it. Or a person, object, number. Lincoln-airplane.99. Perfect way of doing it. Lincoln's a person, easy to remember, capital L, airplane, capital A, with a period and a 99. You've got uppercase, you've got lowercase, you've got a dash. And it's long enough. You put something like that into a into a password strength checker, which they're all over on the, on the internet. Good things to use. It's strong. It's strong because it's because of the length, and there's just enough complexity, as we call it. Right. You want those passwords to be complex, but do you yeah. want them to be so much as meaningful to you? Well, yeah, that's a good question. Sometimes yes, but not too meaningful. You don't want your your husband's name, your wife's name, birthday, anniversary. Those things are too easy to trace. So make them meaningful, but only to you grade school you went to, your grandmother's first name, the year your aunt favorite aunt died, the, the, the town your grandfather was brought up in. Those kind of things will be meaningful to you but aren't going to broadcast out to the world as Traverse City, Front Street, whatever it might be that can be a little bit more easy for someone to maybe get a guess. And keep them different. Different. Don't use the same password for Don't everything. use the same one. That's tempting to do because then you think, oh, it's the password that I use for everything. Right. And that makes it simple. That, the problem is if I figure that out, now I've kind of got an open book for you. And that's what happens. We saw that this week. There was a crime syndicate out of uh, uh, Russia that got all sorts of password, actually user info, a lot of a lot of email stuff. They will they will start using the standard passwords that they get your thing. They'll try to log into Facebook as you. If they get in, now they're going to start trying it at banks, thinking that maybe you're using the same password across the board or a slight variation. So it's a good idea not to do that. Actually, don't do it. It's just not a good idea. Just don't. Yeah. All right, Jim. And then my last question for you is: with all these complex passwords and things, how are you supposed to remember them all? Well, it's it's really impossible to, and you shouldn't try to. Actually. The one you want to remember is the one that you use for your password manager. Get an online password manager. LastPass, L-A-S-T-P-A-S-S dot -S com. PassPack, those are two good. P-A-S-S, P-A-C-K dot com, two good ones. Have a nice long one there that's meaningful to you, and then you can start doing these formula ones that you don't need to remember. So when you go to that site, you go out to LastPass, you log into that, and then all your passwords will be safely stuck in there. You can grab them and not have to remember just copy and paste them. Right, so you don't remember all these complex passwords right. that you should be coming up with. Right, because it gets hard to do. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. from Terrific Networks. And let's take a look at that weather this morning with meteorologist Charlie Blake.